Had to notice me, huh? A simple matter of murder solved a seemingly simple murder of a factory worker. Also, oh, this is like the that one mission back in Unity. Oh dear. This is going very badly, isn't it? It certainly doesn't have the makings of a ripping good novel. What happened here? Ah. Charming and delightful Fry twins. Have we met? Mr. Raymond knows everyone. He knows everything about this city. He writes it all up in his books. I'm Henry Raymond, writer of third-rate lurid stories. Penny dreadfuls, if you will. And this is little Artie. Mr. Raymond takes real murders and makes them so awfully exciting. The guilty always get caught. There's one unfolding just here. Perhaps one of you would like to try your hand in solving it. Alright. Dreadful crimes. To find the murderer, use evil vision to search the investigation zones for clues, interrogate every suspect. Oh my god, my voice just died there. Press option center the progression log and access your collected evidence. Accuse the guilty suspect to solve the case and collect your reward. Be careful though as every false accusation will reduce the reward. Oh god. Okay. Hold on, can I switch? I wanna switch to Eevee. God dang it. I should have done that before. How much are your I have almost 10,000 euros. Cool. So delightfully entertaining, don't you? I mean, solving crimes, of course. Finding a solution is exhilarating. Speak to Mr. Frames. I arrived to find the foreman dead. And the lad duly with bloody hands. No one's been able to find the murder weapon and arrest the murderer. Could you sort it out quickly? It's holding up the work. They're a rough bunch, but someone has to keep the kids in line. I just wish the grown-ups would quit fighting each other. Hmm. Where's the dude's body at? Oh. Warehouse Wilkins' body, a deep stab wound to the chest, a bandana obscures the victim's face. All locations unlocked. You can now make an accusation or continue your investigation. Make accusations with care. He knocks me to the ground and give me a kick. I find me work knife under me and grab it. I lift me hands to protect myself and he knocks me out with a punch. Later on I wakes up and the man's lying there, dead. Alright, so it probably isn't dueling. He's my brother. He don't like to work hard, so one of the workers give him a thrashing. I tried to stop it, and he stopped saying fuck, and starts it in me. Okay. Is this Buck? It is. When I come back, the man's lying dead, and there's Dooley holding a knife. Please don't arrest him. Oh my god. I was standing there, ever to think, when a fella come at me and give me a thumping. Dooley tries to stop him, and he thrashes Dooley. I'll run out to find out. I'm gonna go with... I'm, hmm. Clues found. I've only found one clue. Let me search for a third clue. Or a second clue. Warehouse letter. It has come to our attention that one of your workmen, a certain Mr. Colton, has been beating the child laborers. Our society finds this to be a matter of concern, as do you, no doubt. Please take action to curtail the practice. Miss Clara Odea. Well, who would that letter have been to? Small knife with the initial D, crudely scratched into I the handle. I should go back and ask about this. Sass Dooley. Oh, wait, no, Buck. That's Dooley's knife, all right. He never lent it to nobody. Mm. 
I I mean all signs point to Dooley. Me? No. Oh no no no, not so quickly. You have indeed solved this murder according to the facts at hand. However, Artie, what advice would you give? I would encourage you to look beyond the obvious, beyond surface appearances. Try again. Use your powers to peer more deeply and see what you can discover. All right, gotcha. Oh god, I didn't want to inspect him. I was gonna say that seems a little too obvious, but warehouse large footprint, footprint, the imprint of a large worker's boot. Which suspects had the opportunity to kill him? Well, it could. The only person with a large boot would be that guy. Medium footprint. The imprint of a medium sized worker's boot. The imprint is marked by pebbles of coal and coal dust, making it possible to follow the tracks. Flex of coal this way. How would the murderer have done it? More flex of coal. Which suspects had the opportunity to kill him? I don't know, Artie. Stop questioning me so- Oh. Me and Wilkins was working out here. We heard screaming. Wilkins went to see what it was about and never come back. I went to see for myself and there he was, dead. I didn't stick around. Somebody might think I'd done it. The strange thing is, Wilkins weren't wearing no bandana when I was talking to him. Only the workmen in the brewery wear bandanas. You should talk to Morris there. Morris, huh? Hold on, I can talk to this guy again. He has something else. I can ask Wilkins about Wilkins. wasn't the type to beat the children. On the contrary, he was forever getting in fights, trying to stop that sort of thing. Huh. The fumes can be a bit much in the brewery. When the men work in there, they wear bandanas. But that dude just said he never wore he never wore a bandana. I have a feeling it's that guy. Well, I was inside the brewery all day. I wear me bandana in there. Man asked you what with all the smells and fumes. Huh. There's a clue right here. Brewery large footprint, the imprint of a large worker's boot. Stubbed out cigarette butts. Ask about this. Re examine some of the clues more closely. Shut up, Artie. I don't much know who smokes here. Maybe Taylor? Cigarette might be his. I don't know, this dude seems pretty sketch. Let's go ask Taylor. It's gotta be Taylor or Morris. I quit smoking months ago. You know, I saw somebody from the brewery having a smoke this morning. Didn't see who it was, though. Huh. Back to Morris. Well, like I said, I was inside. Didn't get a chance to come out to smoke. Colton left, though. You can talk to him. He's working in the loading area just now. Colton. Wow, this is actually a really, like, deep investigation. This is pretty cool. I was having a chat with one of the others when I heard a commotion and ran in there to find Wilkins dead. Poor bloke. Killed by that filthy little bastard that we feed and pay. I don't smoke. Never did. Hmm. What's this? Loading area, cigarettes. I believe I should reinterrogate a suspect. Huh. Oh, very well. So I do smoke now and then. What's the matter? Well. Hmm. I'm going with Taylor. I 
apologize for any background noise you guys could <laughs> might be hearing, but I'm gonna go with Taylor. My my gut tells me it's Taylor. He was my mate. I wouldn't kill him. I I was wrong. Well then, I don't think it would be one of the kids. I should be forming here. Wilkins cornered the boys like a mother hen. He come along and stops me giving the boys a beating. It was this guy. That oh was much my more god. Difficult than it initially appeared. Well done. Up to the click with you. A simple matter of murder. An altercation between a boy and a workman ends in death for the workman. The boy remembers lifting a knife, but not the actual killing. Did he do it? No. In fact, the dead worker, one John Wilkins, heard screams and ran to offer assistance. Once there, he found the boy unconscious and another workman, Tom Colton, standing unharmed. But Colton, long angry with Wilkins, stopped fast and stabbed the man with the boy's knife. He then put his own bandana over Wilkins' face. Quick thinking, however, did not win out. Colton has been unmasked as the murderer. Henry Raymond. That was actually pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I I could definitely do more of those. Alright, let's do this Charles Dickens memory. But first, I'm going to switch to uh, Eevee. There we go. My turn. Oh, good. Hold on. Before I get in a carriage, uh, capes, country cloak. Need to be level five. God dang it. Outfits. Why does he keep saying these are new? Like they're not. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Just the original. You know, I'm just gonna go with the original colors. Skills. Let's go health boost. I always use health, a health boost. And then, sure, be a stealth. And then, health boost again. And then I should be level 5. Yep, there we go. Increase the rate. Oh god, that's amazing. Okay. Gang upgrades. That's 10,000. Jesus, that's a lot.
Okay, I just decided to unplug my mic for a bit because of, you know, background noise. Okay, uh, Charles Dickens Memories, Dead Letters. While investigating a haunted carriage, a wary assassin receives a personal letter from a complete stranger. Wow. Sounds intense. You seem tired, friend. Everything all right? There's always too much work to do. Today's Ghost Club investigation involves a carriage. It's said to be covered with gold leaf, dazzling passers-by when the sun shines. Naturally, it's rumored to be haunted. Now, let's see if we can find it. Oh, there's a thief. Haha. <laughs> okay, time to go do the investigation. The Royal Mail coaches vanished when the post began to be transported by rail. Hmm. Oh, I'd rather enjoy a sit down, but duty calls. Duty. But you're gonna sit down anyways. What? How's that a clue? Is that really a clue? Okay, it's not. I was gonna say, how's that a clue? Oh wait, that was a clue. What? These letters never reach their destinations. How sad. Yeah, how sad. That's curious. Love letter, my darling Fry, how I long to be in your arms again. Ever since our last meeting, I've been racked with loneliness. Your absence drives me to despair. I implore you, return to me at once. I long to see you and hear your voice. Do not delay. I await your arrival and offer myself to you completely, your very own Elizabeth. Oh. Gotta go. I have two minutes for the side side objective. I think I can do it. I just need to j get on the roof. That's all I need to do, really. Out of the way, pleb. I don't want to go to the roof yet. There we go. 